Hello all, in this particular tutorial, we will learn how to recover your database when you get this error, file one needs media recovery. File one is nothing but your system data file and it the Oracle database cannot open your database because it needs more media recovery. This particular tutorial is explained in a scenario where you have all the archive logs present with you on your system. Now, let's get on to it. So what is the error that you will see is like when you try to start your database, you may encounter this error file one needs media recovery. And in the next line, it will tell you the name of the data file, the system data file that needs the recovery. The database will be stuck in the mount mode. If you try to open the database, it will, it will not go in the open mode. You will not be able to open your database. Now, again, let me repeat, this solution will work. If you have all the archive logs present on the system, you can do the complete recovery. So you will run the command recover database and alter database open. These are the only two commands that you need to fix your database. Now, you might want to, you might want to recreate this scenario in your system. So let me show you the steps which are which I have done to create this scenario. So open the database, note the system data file name, perform some transactions, copy the system data file. You can copy the system data file while the database is open. So it's completely open. I'm not shutting down the database. So you have done some transactions, copy the system data file, do some more transactions. So let some more transactions happen, shut down the database, replace the system data file with the copied data file. So we are going to replace so we, we are going to do some transactions and then we are going to replace the system data file with the older version of the data file. Try to open a database, boom, database crashed and you will see this error, file one needs media recovery. So let's start the exercise. So let me connect to the system here. Let me set the environmental variable. That looks good. Let me connect to the database. Let's take uh, whether the database is in the open mode. That looks good. Keep a note of your data file, the system data file, because we are going to play with this data file. So keep a note of this. I'm going to keep a note here. Now, what are we are going to do? Open another session and do some transactions. So let's try to do some transactions. So we are going to insert some transactions in the database. Let this transactions complete. So let, let it finish. So that's done. So we have done some transactions. That's good. What we'll do now is like we are going to copy this data file. So we are, the database is still open. I'm not shutting down. So you can see the database is still open. I'm going to go to the another session and I'm going to copy whatever name. I'm going to create this directory. You can copy wherever you want. That's not a problem. I'm going to copy the system data file. You can see this is the system data file. I'm going to copy to the location that I created. That's done. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to now perform some more transactions. So the database is still open. So I'm doing some more transactions. Let these transactions complete. And once these transactions are completed, I'm going to shut down the database. So that's done. So I'm going to shut down the database. And what I'm going to do now is after shutting down, I'm going to remove this data file. So I'm going to RM this data file. So this data file will no longer be present. So let, let's wait for the database to be shut down. So that looks good. So it's almost done. I'm, I do not have the patience. So let's RM that data file. That's done. We are going to copy the, the, the temp one. So the copy the temp one to the original location from where we have deleted. So from here, we have deleted this system data file. So I'm going to copy the temp file. That's done. Now let's try to start our database. And your database is actually crashed. It won't open, it will be stuck in the mount mode and it will tell you, it will say, you'll get this error, file one needs media recovery. So you, you can see 
it will not be able to file one needs media recovery. So we have we created this error and this is the name of system data file. The reason why we got this is because you know what we did. We removed the data file and we copied the old system data file and now it says it needs more recovery. Now let's try to bring this database. So let's see which mode this database is in and it will be in the mount mode. So let's take a look at that. Yes, it is in the mount mode. Try to open the database. It will not open. It will be still in the mount mode. The database, you will not be able to open your database unless you don't fix this error file one needs media recovery. Now to fix this, as I told you, we need to just run two commands, recover database, alter database open. So let's connect to our system using our main target. Let's run the recover database. That's done. Let's go back to the SQL plus. Still the database will be in the, still the database will be in the mount mode. But now if you, if you try to open it, it should get successfully open. And now if you try to look at your database, you can see the database is in the read write mode. So the two commands that we ran is recover database, alter database open. I hope this tutorial was useful. In this particular tutorial, we learned how to recover from the file one needs media recovery, system data file needs more recovery. And this particular scenario was explained when you have all the archive logs present. The solution is pretty simple. Recover the database, open the database. I hope this tutorial is useful. Thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial. Bye-bye.